Um, okay. I, I, uh, I don't know what the fuck my luck has been recently. He's like a million coins. <laughs> Okay, yeah, that, yep. But okay, so uh, yeah, like 30 minutes ago, I packed that Benzema card. So I want to show you guys that at the start of this video today. And uh, we got some things to talk about because we've got a couple confirmed like leaks to talk about. It's a market stuff, which we kind of predicted would do pretty well. And that's kind of what's happening. So that's nice to see. But then also some more news that might be a little bit uh, annoying for some and joyous for others. And we'll talk about that here in a sec. If you guys want to buy coins, you can go to MMOXP.com. The link is in the description. Use my code JFC at checkout for a 5% discount discount but i must say i did red cantona i was like you know what i didn't know what red player to pick and i know the icons some people didn't like how the icons looked with the red player picks or the red card design but i thought it looks pretty cool and this canton is so good he's not leaving my team misses all champs and rivals and he is so good honestly i think the reason he's so good this year is because of physicality and how it like actually can play kind of a factor in your team because when you're playing down the middle the press is so ridiculous that if you hold l2 you actually can shield off some guys once in a while like you couldn't in previous years so i kind of think that that's what makes him so good. And his finishing is not like most cars finishing. He has chip shot and power shot, but I'm able to finish like everything with him. So, I mean, he's just insane. He's got Travella as well. This is an insane card if you've not used him. Uh, he's very good if you pack him or if you're able to buy him on the market. And I also want to update you with, you can now select dynamic cards for your red player pick and they also get upgraded now. So they fix that issue from before. So if you pick a red Basha or a red RTTK card or something like that, a red Thunderstruck player, it will be upgraded as uh, normally. That's a nice fix. And also for radio active cards if you make them red they actually it actually does take away their chemistry boosts which judging by the fact that they change the rttk cards my guess would be they're going to change this as well that's just kind of a glitch for right now but beware that that is a possibility i guess like if you change your radioactive card to a red that it will lose that chem boost for like the time being i'm sure they'll fix it but just want to let you guys know that and also who did you select as red i'm very curious to see who you selected as red let me know in the comments and also uh, re uh openda okay this ucl road to the knockouts openda got upgraded randomly for no reason Okay, none of the upgrades have happened yet for a team to qualify. And I think Leipzig have qualified, but they haven't happened yet. And Openda all of a sudden just got up to an 88 rated for no reason. So if you have Openda in your club, he's an 88. I put him in an SBC like immediately after this happened. Because yeah, he'll get there eventually anyway if they qualify, which I'm pretty sure is guaranteed or like almost guaranteed. But uh, yeah, for some reason, EA just said, fuck it. I guess they just accidentally upgraded him. You know, I mean, God knows what's going on behind the scenes with the coders. Okay, nobody fucking knows. But content has been really nice, honestly. It actually has been. I think this radioactive daily play games and you play two 81 2 and you finish the objective the whole thing and you get an 82 times two and just repeatable once a day which is just a nice little bonus and then the daily play games completionist you're gonna end up getting these nice fodder packs here as well and the final reward is an 84 times three which is fine but just anything to help right any little thing like that is cool you tie that into the advent calendar which is every single day for a bronze card you're gonna get new stuff or almost every single day because i guess day five they don't have is it like a non-work day or something that must be what it is i have no idea why every five there isn't one or every six there isn't one so maybe they have like six days of work and then they have an off day or something like that i'm not exactly sure why that's the case but uh yeah some good rewards in here and that's very cool from them get on every single day bronze card get some rewards that's awesome and then we get the most exciting part of probably the entire day in my opinion and that is these new upgrades which is going to help league sbcs a ton which is awesome to see if you go over here to the daily gold upgrade i've already done it a bunch of times you can't see it my face cam's in the way but it's repeatable three times a day for 48 days and it's just a silver squad a bronze squad but you also get six silvers back and six bronzes back in the pack so you're really putting in six at a time here for an 11 gold players pack which will help the grind out just you know any little bit like that is going to help a lot so that's really cool and then we also get probably the biggest part of the uh new upgrade packs the premium silver upgrade and the premium bronze upgrades got a favorites and see these two here you're going to get uh four common silvers there and five common golds that makes the grind a lot better it's double the silvers and two more golds than the other one so combine that with the other uh you know the gold upgrade a daily gold upgrade this is made bronze pack method actually viable again you can go up open bronze packs if you want to to put into the bronze and silver upgrades this actually let me go back to SBCs. actually this actually might make the uh the mixed league SBC viable if you uh end up just keeping the csl players or like the lib and sub players or that kind of thing it's still shit pack so like it's is it gonna be worth your time if you're like not a serious serious grinder probably not but if you are somebody who spends like a couple hours in the menus every single day you might be able to like run through these once or twice because it's super cheap to complete this like this SBC is mad cheap to complete it's just the fact that these packs back are not very good but if you want 
to put in some extra time because like fuck it you're bored or whatever you you can complete this if you want to you definitely can Antoine Griezmann came out I'm sure you saw that he's not expensive but also not super cheap either 88 87 86 uh he's gonna be a very good card he's got the finesse shot plus trade so that's gonna always help but Aubameyang came out two days ago along with Griezmann and this is the card that actually kind of drove down some prices of strikers there's only an 82 and an 85 rated of course team of the week is in there as well but those are a little bit cheaper now now the 83 10 is gone 82 85 he's got good chemistry for league one which is kind of harder to link honestly 6 2 high low rapid plus is nice and the end games are pretty good so for not that expensive plus finesse shot and travella this card is actually what kind of drove down some prices of strikers because Aubameyang is just really good. We got that and also the crafting upgrade. Didn't even mention the radioactive crafting upgrade. Now the rewards for this, I won't show you them. They're not like amazing, but for right now they're fine. It's a three rare gold player pack, which also isn't the most insane upgrade pack ever, but at least there is something right now to put stuff into before we get upgrades every Monday. So I like that. I wish the rewards were a little bit better to make kind of worth grinding up towards because they're not really that great, but it is what it is. Okay, let's start off with leaks that we have confirmed right now. We've got Moises Caicedo as an SBC coming probably going to be today is my guess. We have no word on any sort of like icon or hero pack today. We know a base icon pick is coming soon. We know that from leaks in the past. So that would be my best guess as to what would come out today. I'm not too sure, but Kaiseido with the Prem Chem, he's probably going to be uh, a little bit overpriced is my guess because like Premier League links are always worth more. Plus it's literally like hero chemistry. So Kaiseido will probably be good, but also expensive is my guess. We've got End of an Era Sinclair and Sinclair, I don't really know much about Sinclair or anything, but I looked at her card she has five star weak foot four star skills she's five foot nine so that she's not like actually like that short agility and balance is really bad here but she's got really high like base composure base passing and base shooting but yeah the agility and balance is horrible my guess would be they will upgrade that like a lot on her but there's potential here for this card to actually be pretty damn good high medium work rates play styles are finesse shot power shot anticipate which is a random one and travella so there's some good stuff here potentially on sinclair so we'll keep a lookout for her guys just stumbled across a tweet on my timeline what do you think uh takahiro told me it was the best Asian footballer in the Premier League ever. Um, just marinate with this one for a while, okay? Just, just think about it for a bit. But okay, that had nothing to do with what we were talking about. But okay, now here's the part where some people might hate this, some people might love this. The next League Gun Player of the Month is not really obvious who's going to win it. In fact, it's probably going to be Mbappe again because four goals, one assist for Mbappe. The next possible one is really Jallo there, who has two goals and one assist. Also, Tadebo is bald now. I, I must have missed. I must have missed that one. So looking at the goal of the game, it might be Mbappe two months in a row. It's pretty rare for that to happen. However, it did happen this year. Bellingham won La Liga Player of the Month in August and September. And last year, Mbappe won it, I believe, in December and then in January again. Or maybe it was like January, then March, something like that. It, it was a couple months apart. It was just one in between, I think, where Mbappe won it twice. So if you did Mbappe, you're like, fuck, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have the best Mbappe card now. If you didn't do him, you'd be sitting there like, haha, go fuck yourself. Another one dropped and I'm going to do that one. Problem is, of course, the next one's probably going to be ridiculously expensive if he happened to win it. Last year, I think the second player of the month was, I want to say, like five point something million and like nobody did it because it was just ridiculous but if Mbappe does win a second player of the month I think that most people are not going to want to complete him because he's going to be even more expensive this one already is 3.5 mil or something like that and uh hey this one being 5.5 mil I mean Christ like you're not completing that SPC but okay on to the market now it has looked really nice if you bought almost anything that we talked about it's at least stayed the same or gone up the Thunderstruck cards did amazing those cards were insane investments literally every card no matter what the price has pretty much gone up you got like Veron who stayed about the same Silva's up even a little bit but every card from like down here and below is up hemp was at 180 she's now 245 Frimpong was in the 600k range now 680 Davies was 800k now 930 Fati was 340 now 410 literally every car went up and this is kind of indicative of what this market and what the power curve did because this promo changed the power curve and you want to buy if you want to buy the most stable cards you can you want to buy the rarer ones and the ones that are the best right and most of these thunderstruck cards are some of the best in the entire game plus they can get upgraded so it was just a good buy if you bought some good job i still think they can actually honestly go up a little bit more i think for the most part this week the market will do pretty well i don't really think with radioactive coming or coming it's out right now but i don't think that we're actually going to see much of a dip i don't really know what would cause it there would have to be something big that we really couldn't foresee like a player of the month doku is really cheap uh, that kind of thing could happen but outside of that something we could actually foresee i don't really think that could happen too much. We talked about heroes with the new UCL heroes coming in like a week or so, a little bit over a week. That might, you know, not do good for hero prices. But outside of that, 
I mean, there's not really much. I think it should do fine this week. And radioactive cards, they're going to be a good time to buy these cards. Well, what I want to say first and foremost here is that I think we're going to only get one radioactive team. The reason I say that is because when you look at the, uh, where's like the radioactive daily objectives here, the radioactive daily play games expires in five days, plus the radioactive Eric Bailly expires in five days. So to me, this is going to be a one week promo. That would be my guess as of right now. I could be way wrong about that, but I'd be shocked that these would expire in five days. And then all of a sudden we have a radioactive team too. That doesn't really make a lot of sense. So I'm leaning towards there being one team, which I would like then buying these a lot more if it's just one team because it'd be a lot rarer. They're really good for chemistry, right? So I actually like these a lot more if we're only going to get one team. My guess is by Wednesday, we'll know for sure if there's going to be one team or not. I'm down to wait until then to want to like really buy these cards if you're interested in it because they're going down right now. You know, Gavardio was like 220 and he's like 159 now, right? So these cards are dropping for the most part because they're getting packed more and more, but I think they'll reach their lowest point sometime in the middle of this week and we'll probably know if there will be a team to buy Wednesday. We'll talk about it more in the middle of the week probably. And guys, fodder is actually the lowest it's been in a couple weeks right now and we could get an icon pick today it's low-key a pretty decent show because if an icon pick comes out people will be instantly completing that no matter what to be honest with you a lot of people will be now we have gotten a lot of fodder recently but that doesn't usually affect the price of fodder too much when you get a ton of untradeable fodder from things like packs objectives or whatever because there's so much to put into right now that people always have to buy some that's just kind of how it works so 89s and up are up because of mbappe but so i wouldn't worry about them but anything between like 84 to 88 is a possible club stock to me because they're all low 84 is 2.8 88 85 6.5 or something like that 86 is at 11k that's the lowest all three of those have been in a long time 83s right now are actually 900 coins that's a matter of time that's one investment that you can make right now that you sit and wait and wait and wait as long as you want to it's a matter of time till those cards are back to 1500 coins they were 2000 at their peak that would be double profit if you bought a 950 it might take a week or three or five but it's a guaranteed profit at some point of the year honestly your club stocks some 83s go spend like 100k on them if you have 100k to spend and then just sit them in your club the last thing I want to say is pray to God, okay? Just just pray that if you're on Twitter, you see EA tweet out saying gameplay patch, patch notes coming this week because, uh, listen, it's going to be tough. It's going to be real tough to keep playing the gameplay as it is right now. It's just such a snooze fest. It's such a 50-50 random nonsense at the top ELOs right now that it's tough. It is really tough, and if we don't see it like this Monday. It's usually the day that we see notes or it comes out. is going to be Monday or Tuesday. We got to wait another week, and when's it going to be? I mean, it's, the time is ticking right now as to how long this gameplay is going to last being this way there is a small chance that we just don't see a patch anytime soon regarding the uh auto press in this game and that is what is breaking this game right now is the auto press and what i also will say is say we do get a patch a low-key like interesting investment we've seen patches affect the market before you know what it will actually be man i forgot to pack that benzema card we low-key could see cards like erling holland harry kane the taller strikers uh that you can actually play through the middle like play through balls through the middle will become a lot better. Honestly, like this Erling Holland card will become so much better if the uh, gameplay is patched because you could actually play through balls to him through the middle. And in this game, like these uh, really lengthy cards and the really tall cards are very, very fast. You might not notice that because you can't play through the middle literally at all in this game. But if that does happen, these cards could start rising if you want to get on that train first. Maybe after a patch, try and use one of these cards like a Holland or a Kane and see if you like them a lot. Because last year, they were obviously very, very good. This year, they're just not as much because you can't play down the middle. But... Okay, thank you all for watching. I love you. See you in the next video, Reversu. Peace.